Hello, Warlands. Got a new bug out to play with today. Well, it's actually an older bug out. I just don't carry it too often. It's the Mini. In the past, we've done a couple things on upgrades from Glow Rhino. There and there. And I even added that in at one point. A little spacer. I really like this one a lot because you can see the green glow from many angles. Whereas this, you really have to be right down face on it to see it. I uh, also did the titanium scales at one point, but I want to work on this one today. I've had it for a while, just don't carry it that often because I worked in one of those big box stores that was very orange, and this just reminds me of Safety Orange, and it's got to go. So, got with the Rhino, we got some treats. Send us a free little keychain or lanyard plug if you want. Glows in the dark. Set that off to the side. We've got the typical axis lock that we've been doing on the other couple, but this one is, instead of a black is gonna be the satin color. Right there. So we will be placing that. You can see the black there and here. Um, we also have, which we have not done yet, we've got a thumb stud. So these are both going to glow green. The thumb stud will replace that. Axis lock there. And then to get rid of all the rest of the orange on the scales, we got some fancy new scales. These are Glow Rhino, so we've got a tritium insert on each side. So pretty slick. So let's go ahead and get started. Put these guys aside. Let's take this guy. Put those off to the side. I like to start with it open there. We're going to go ahead and take everything off this side, starting with our T6 here. Everybody doing all right today, tonight, this morning? say I do like the bug outs I definitely like the bigger one better um, just because it fits in my hand a little bit easier and it's a good size for slicing if you want to cut cut your apple or something like that if you're eating or working with shaving down some wood okay so front Middle back. We're gonna need uh, this is, what was it, T10 for our axis point, our pivot point. We'll say the mini. I'm sure it's just a off situation, but this one came a lot duller than the other two did. be it yep boom all right so I would normally just throw this on there and keep moving but we are gonna replace this guy so we really need to take this thing all the way apart um, so let's go ahead and flip this over put this scale here kind of keep those screws where we need them keep track of everything Uh, let's go back to our little guy, T6. Pocket limp from time. 
Um, let's leave those on there for now. We'll put the other one in there first. We're going to leave the back two with the barrel spacers in there for now. Push this through. Use the smaller. Boom. Got it through. Um, okay, we got one washer, two washers. side and we're going to start with this side ooh they don't have the flat cut oh, down there either it's just here so again this little pivot sleeve has the uh, flat spot across the top that will feed into the flat spot here but Let's go ahead and get this thing changed out. Boom. Boom. Flip her over. Unhook our little thing there. Go ahead and pop this off if I can. Okay, well bring it out and then pop it off come on there we go okay old axis lock we'll set aside bring the new axis lock in play a little bit of pocket lint I'm not gonna worry too much about it this I have not used this one quite as much, so the pocket lint is nowhere near as bad as it was in the other two. So, start us off with our pivot, flat top, boom. So we're going to feed in there one way, because of that flat spot. This guy. And we want this facing up. So we will hook that on there with this little piece facing towards the middle. Do the same thing with this other one. So Omega Springs will be in place. bottom side feed one omega spring through as well as our pin oh nope I did it backwards Instead of hooking it this way, it needs to hook this way. But again, with the end piece facing the center, OK. 
Okay. Get that down in there through like that. And then we are going to put our first omega spring. place right Oop. maybe I should wait the little ones seem spinnakier than the regular size okay so we got one in place right I'm just looking for the side that has the wear. So that's the side we want against the blade. So I'm going to put just a drop of oil on here. Wipe it around. So then we are going to set this in place there. Let's go ahead and put our pivot point back in. Okay. Decent start. Bit of oil on the other side, we'll wipe it around. Oh, whoops. I don't know if I'll be able to get that back in place. My loop. Find a better way for this. Come on. There we go. Couldn't keep our spring in place. Flat on top. Good, good. First Omega Spring still pinned in the right position there. So let's slide it back just a little. Get this washer on there and our blade. Slowly let the pivot axis point back. Okay. Now, dog hair. spot around there because I think it'll be easier than putting it on the washer. Drop our washer in place. Put just a little speck on the other side of this. Got it. 
Now, we need to feed this omega spring through the hole. And then on to there. This is going to be kind of a tricky part. So we hold our pivot play, pin in place. We have to slide the access lock back so we can fit it up on there. And then somehow get, there we go. Get that to fit in there like that. Now, so let's put our axis, our omega spring into the other side. And then well should have pulled those off sooner. Now we know. Well let's do this. Let's put one screw back in place to hold our little frame in there. And then we'll put in our top screw up here real quick. Now, having both those in place, we'll keep our frame on there and together. Now we can focus on taking these off. Okay. So there are going to be two orange pieces left when we get done with this. It's going to be the two barrel spacers, which at the end of the day, that's not that bad. A little bit of orange I can deal with, but not, not a whole orange knife. Well, I'm just spinning everything now. Put this one in. The trouble I'm having with this one is it's I don't have anything to really grip it, so it's just really free spinning. Hmm. Have to pinch it with something. Hold on. Hmm. All right, time out. I'm going to grab some pliers. All right, pliers in hand. Normally I'd put some tape around these or maybe wrap this with something so that it doesn't scuff the barrel spacer, but they're orange, I don't really care that much about them. There we go. There we go. Maybe the orange. 
orange and green will look pretty good together anyway. Well, there we go. Okay, started the thread, so we're going to leave it at that All right now. else is in place so go ahead and set this in play Just put the frame back together oh it's looking so much better <laughs> That's one of my back in there. Our pivot. And that takes care of those. We're going to need a T6 on each end. <coughs> because one side is just free spinning. Definitely pays to have a couple of drivers with a couple of the same size bit. I actually just got this from Glow Rhino too because it was cheap and it adding it gave me free shipping. Still spinning.
Okay. So, next step, we need to get our thumb spacer off here. Is that going to be a T6 as well? Sure is. Oh, and that came off real easy. And again, this one only has the tritium insert on one side, so we're going to use the tritium insert to be on the presentation side. I might come back and Loctite some of this stuff later. But I have not had any trouble with my other bug outs coming loose without Loctite. These we want snug. But not too snug because you don't want to strip any of this stuff. Oh, that is solid. Oof. A little stiff work on it. Let's make sure this back one is tight. And then we will get the pocket clip put back on. Ooh. I wonder if that would fit there. It looks very much like it would fit the mini bug out, but I don't know about these scales. Back off on this just a smidge. Yeah. And it works a lot better than factory. Factory, they're a little bit stiff, but I like having real smooth and easy opening. There it is. Tritium, tritium, tritium. So let's uh, let's kill some lights and see what happens. Ooh, kill some more. It's tough to see that in the dark, huh? Yeah, it's tough to see that dark side, guys. There you go, that's pretty good. So, overall review. Super easy to see. Super easy to see from various angles. A 
a little bit harder to see and not much of an angle at all and it disappears completely whereas that back one sticks out so I'm a big fan of this upgrade and these obviously this will stand out real well on both sides from multiple angles but these two same thing here when you start to rotate it because you're not looking directly down on it anymore you really kind of lose that glow but there's our bug outs almost looks like a Ninja Turtle thing, Secret of the Ooze almost. Clip covers up the back side of it a little bit, but not too bad. Pretty good looking with that satin. Well, y'all let me know what you think. I definitely recommend putting anything here and here on the presentation side. Um, because like I say when you start to move it a little bit you kind of lose that pop so if you're wanting to put it on this side because you usually leave your knife stored like this clip side up and you want it to shine you can but you really have to be looking right down directly at it for it to pop so I definitely recommend putting everything on the presentation side as they're just for show anyway, these little pieces. But that pops, and that pops real well. Like those a lot. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. Till next time, y'all take it easy. Glow Rhino.